Till somebody kills you. You're nobody till somebody kills you. Watch Casino. I'm the hip hop version of Nicky Tarantino. Ask Nino, he know. Green with envy. Anyway, the last one got cut off. That notorious was hitting too hard. So, listening to that record actually is what made me want to go live. And like I said before, wishing you a blessed and glorious day. A couple of things. If you ever want to work in this industry, the thing you're going to learn real quick is people are too simple to even attack what you say. Because they're so vicious, they're going to attack you. Certain features about you, certain characteristics about you, certain personal things about you. And also in working in multimedia, It's like being an official if you good. Which means when the ref blow the whistle, whichever team get the call is happy. Whoever the call goes against, the team is upset. Might even get a technical arguing the call. So you can dislike what I say or agree agree with me or disagree with me. It's fine. All good. But note to everybody out there, if you want to do this, people ain't going to just attack what you say. They attack you. And also, being where I'm from, more than a jock that doesn't just shut up and dribble, that's a philanthropist that gives back to his community. I'm sicker than your average. I'm more of a threat. So there will be certain people with certain political beliefs that just don't like me because I think I'm woke. And that's a Why don't you own commercial real estate? Yes, you. Why don't you own commercial property? After all, yes. And that term has clearly been hijacked. And so, again, I didn't get a chance to elaborate on the point. And maybe I didn't stick the landing. Maybe it was an irrelevant point that I was trying to make about the heat in Miami when they were playing the Knicks. And I referenced the fact that when you're in Miami, you got to be conscious of the sun because it creates dehydration and tiredness. If you've ever been in New York City, especially this time of year, or in Miami this time of year. It's a different lifestyle. When you're in Miami and you're not in the gym, you're laying by the pool. You're walking on the beach. You're not in your hotel room. You're outside enjoying the weather and enjoying the sun. It can dehydrate you. That's what I was referencing. And again, maybe it's an irrelevant point to most people. Maybe it's a wrong point overall. But I know that the Heat don't play outside. I actually played in the arena. But I do know this. When the Nuggets...
Rockets, who drafted me, have a game, the altitude matters. Not as much for the home team because they live there. It's an adjustment for the road team. I'll never forget. We was playing against the Rockets one time. I think this is my first or second year. And Akeem Olajuwon, who I believe, along with Michael Jordan, are the only two people I've ever been on the court with and Kobe. Those three. That I felt like were the best player on both ends at all times. That could play above the rim, around the rim, in the paint, but also just attack you with all of their moves and their skills. I remember looking over at the bench and I seen Hakeem with a gas mask on. I was like, wow. I didn't realize the dream got tired because I viewed him as superhuman. So when you get a chance, just Google it. The effects that the sun can have on the body. There is an adjustment there. There's a, a consciousness there that has to take place. That's why you get a tan, for example. But either way, <clears throat> it could be an irrelevant point. <clears throat> I ain't mad at it. I'm going to say a lot of wrong things. I'm going to mispronounce names. <clears throat> I'm going to get predictions wrong. But you know what the devil do? <clears throat> they don't attack what you said. They attack you. <clears throat> and there are certain sites that I have ignored and I'm going to continue to ignore that just don't like me because I don't shut up and dribble. make a living off posting stuff about me to try to assassinate my character. But I'm going to stay in my faith. I'm going to continue to be disciplined. I'm going to continue to work hard. But it's crazy sometimes when People try to use words to describe you like stupid or dumb. I know I'm not a lot of things, but I for sure know I ain't stupid or dumb. And one of the things I wanted to do with my life I wanted to purposely accomplish things that mainstream and corporate America say people like me where I'm from can't accomplish so they couldn't say that about me. So that's why I was an honor roll student in high school. That's why I made the dean's list in college. That's why I graduated from college. I wanted to be a best-selling author. A donor, a philanthropist, a school founder. So now, if you close your eyes, I could be a 55, 60-year-old person Black or white, they have these same accomplishments that allow me to get into the room <laughs> and allow my resume to be just as valid. So again, maybe in the relevant point, may have been 
wasn't taken out of context. Maybe I could have articulated it better. It's all good. If it was irrelevant, then my bad, I own it. If it has some merit, I own it. But either way, again, I want to stress, people are going to always try to assassinate your character and talk you out of your greatness. Try to make you feel small, try to disrespect you. Stay disciplined, stay focused, stay encouraged. You got to believe something. Why not believe in me? And so again, as I head to do ABC today, I jumped in the whip after getting a fresh cut. I dye my hair. So? When I feel like it's like 50% gray, then I'll rock it. But since it's only like 15% gray, I ain't rocking it. I also got veneers. Is that okay? I don't have a wig. I don't have a unit. But no splash. What if I did? So what? We're so quick to like judge other people, criticize other people. People gonna criticize you whatever you do. If my hairline was in recession, people would criticize. If I had a banana split at the top, people would criticize. If I had a bald spot, people would criticize. If I was short, people would criticize. If I was heavy, People will criticize. Live in your glory. Be the best version of yourself. Work as hard as you can to achieve your goals. And also... To know this. Sometimes your critics are right. And that's okay too. But again, a lot of times, in particular as a public figure, there's ten toes down for my community. There's certain people that criticize me with an agenda. So I want you guys to pay attention to who that is and why that is. It's because I don't shut up and dribble. It's because I'm socially and politically conscious, a.k.a. woke. So I have a glorious day. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Shout to Sosa, shout to Content, shout to UAE Finest, shout to Power Through Faith. I appreciate the continued support. I've been in the game 30 years. I got drafted in 1994. Too many people gonna have more corporate knowledge than I do. I've been working in the media, literally, while playing. 
and retired for 20 years. My major in college was radio, TV, film, community college, communications. And I take pride in staying fly, staying fresh. That's just where I'm from. 313. We don't get just get dressed. We wear outfits. We wear looks. It is what it is. So check me today, suited and booted. We got one game. 